Hello guys, I am Vasil Dimitrov and in several videos I will show you how to write scripts for this artist scenes. Here you see a usually used scene with bar graphic where we have 5 bars. If we want to customize this graphic, every time we must change so much values and parameters in the scene. For example, if I want to change the first bar, I must change the keyframe value in this way, but I must change and the value here in the text box. For these simple operations I must go to several places in the vis and it takes a lot of time. So let's start with uh, scripting. If we want to write scripts in this artist, we must go to built-ins and find script plugin. Just drag and drop in any container. This is empty container. And when you click on the script icon, here you can write your script. But here is bad idea to write your script. And my recommendation is install Visual Studio Code, this program, and go to the extensions. Here you can find this extension. Just click install here and you can use it for writing scripts in this script. So I have installed this plugin and just will create new text file. Text file. I will make my first save for this document and choose name bar chart of example and here you can select file extension just choose vs4 you can type manual here vs4 and save and this is my first vs4 file my first script so one of the first things you must write when you write script is to register parameters. In this script you have subroutine named on init parameters. Let's rewrite it. You can see Visual Studio Code shows me the possible subroutines which I can use here. I see on init parameters, just click and and so. In this subroutine or procedure, in some languages it's called method, in this procedure I must register all parameters which I want to see in my future program. In this script we have different types of parameters and you can see them in global procedures here in the documentation and here you can see the list with all types of parameters. Let we start with something simple. I will register string parameter. Register. You can see all types here. Register parameter string. It's here. This subroutine takes some parameters. First is the name of parameter. I will name this parameter just label 1. The name is for this text down of the bar. I want to fill all these fields through the script. Now after the name of the parameter I must give text for my parameter which I will see in this artist. I can name it with label bar 1 or maybe down label it is your choice the next parameter which takes the subroutine is default value of this field maybe it is next parameter is widget size maybe 10 
Next parameter is max possible length of the string. Maybe 100 is good. And the last parameter is empty string. It is for not possible symbols if you want to have this type of symbols. Okay, it is my first parameter. Let me copy the script and paste it here in script plugin. When I place here my script, just click on compile and run. You can see we have one parameter. Maybe this field is short and we'll try with 50. Okay, I think it's good. Okay, but it's label for bar one here. But I have five bars. I can copy five times this register procedure and just will rename the name of parameters for every bar. In this way, copy and now you can see five string parameters here and I can use them. Of course they make nothing and later we will see how to apply the data from these fields to these fields here. But it's not the only type we can use as register parameters. We have register parameter double. Again here we have an option for name of the parameter, maybe bar 1. Next is the text we will see in the this artists. Bar 1 value maybe. Next parameter is default value. Default value is let we see. Now the height of this bar is 82.5. Okay, maybe it's not bad value. I will set this number as default value of this parameter. Next parameter is minimum. Minimum value is 0. And last parameter is maximum. Maybe 200, of example. Let me copy and paste the new version of my script. Edit and place here and compile and run. And now we have one double parameter here. You can see here is 82.5, but when I change this parameter, nothing is changed. This is because we just register parameter, but the program don't know what to make with this parameter and the value from this parameter and here you see nothing has happened. When I click on R button you can see we are setting the parameter with the default value. Again we can copy this parameter several times for every bar and can change the name of every parameter something like that and copy and paste when the script is compiled i can see all my 10 parameters five for string labels here and oops and five double parameters which i will use later for changing the height of every bar and setting value as height and here, but it is for later. I can create a button with register push button and here parameter name is of example apply changes. Next parameter is the name of the button in this artist. 
apply changes and id of the button copy edit and paste and compile and turn now you can see i have a button apply changes nothing happened when it's clicked but it is normal for now it is the main way which you can use to register different parameters in this script. Just use on init parameters subroutine and register all parameters here. Again, you can see all register parameter subroutines here. In documentation of wizard, you can see we have register parameter container, register parameter color register parameter brew and so thank you for watching for now we will see you in next video